Bienvenidos al Trek Boss Show. Today's show is going to be a little different. With it being Christmas Eve, we have a special one for you. So for today, we have a tribute for truckers, Santa's helpers, Trucker G, and our Christmas stack hack. We already know you guys, the drivers, the truckers, the freight movers, keep the world rolling. It's become even more apparent during the pandemic as you guys kept everything going. But it wasn't just the freight you guys were moving. You were also tasked with saving lives, getting people PPE, medical supplies, and perhaps most importantly, the new COVID-19 vaccine to those who needed it the most. So for all of your hard work, we have this tribute video for you. Check it out. Seriously, there are no words that could describe how thankful we are for everything you guys do. Our country just wouldn't run without you guys. Now let's switch gears and head over to Isela, who checks in with one of our favorites, Trucker G. This year has been pretty tough for many of us, especially for professional truck drivers. Hauling cross country, long hours to not being able to find a warm meal. But we have had many folks step up and show some love. I got to visit with one of Santa's helpers who is going to be doing something special for some truck drivers today. Check it out. But you're always doing something good to make somebody's day, especially your fellow drivers. But what are you going to be we doing try. today? We, we try. We try our best. You know, it's the, what we do is isn't enough, in my opinion. You know, the drivers out here, they, they deserve far, far more than what we've ever done, believe me. But uh, this evening, we're going to play, play Santa is what we're going to do kind of have a little fun and we're going to go down to the truck stop there and the truck stops there in Stratford, Missouri. I wish, I wish I was as good as Santa and being able to hit every truck stop <laughs> there was, but I'm not that good. Um, but we're gonna hang little stockings off the truck driver's mirrors. But what made you feel say, Hey, I want to show some love. Let me show our driver some appreciation. I've missed a few of the holidays throughout in the last 29 years. I tried not to miss too many, but, but I have, it happens. And, you know, that's the loneliest time of the year, especially Christmas, not being home with the family. I mean, it's just a little something. It doesn't take the place of the family or nothing. 
but just let them know they're appreciated. Just a little something to put a smile on their face, just kind of brighten their day, just just a little bit. So they're not so, you know, upset or sad that they didn't get to make it home to their loved one. I think that's what I just said. I said it a whole lot better. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Women, we always do. <laughs> <laughs> so you but tell the, been married a long time, can't you? Because yes. I know <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, you're right. Babe. Yes. <laughs> Now, one of the cool thing is that, of course, you both can relate. You know, there was a time where she was at home taking care of the kids and you were on the road. Now you guys are together. You know what it's like. You oh, know yes. how it feels. Very so now well. you've turned it around and made it something positive and said, hey, I'm going to show some love and I'm going to let my fellow drivers know that there's somebody else that is thinking about you, is appreciating what you do. These truck drivers, they feed my family at home. They bring everything my family needs at home. You know, even though I'm out here doing it, it's all these other drivers that are bringing the stuff to my family. And that's why I do it for, for everybody else, if I can, you know. You're going to be playing Santa tonight. And again, it's going to be in what area? It's going to be in the Stratford, Missouri area. We're going to we're going to go to the Loves and the TA right there. That's where most of the drivers are going to be at in that area anyway. Um, but anybody that's in the area, even the Lebanon, Missouri area, uh, on Christmas, we're going to be having a Christmas Eve, Eve supper. Kind of let me give, give me an idea how many people are coming, but you're welcome to come to the house. I've got 40 acres. I've got plenty of room to park a bobtail. Yeah. Ain't going to be able to get a, a, a trailer in into my entranceway because I, I haven't dug the second driveway in yet. But there's plenty of room for, for, for a lot of bobtails, believe me. Come see us. Believe me, it's not an inconvenience. I cook for an army anyway. Awesome that Trucker G and his wife are out there doing the thing. So you guys, thank you so much. I, I got to say a big thank you to the Truck Boss Show. Yeah. I mean, you guys actually actually sent some of the candy that that we were going to be giving out. Yeah. So gonna... thank you. You are out there on the road hitting that pavement, and we're out here trying to just try to keep everybody's spirit up. Maybe, you know, let them know what's going on. I don't know. You know us on the Truck Boss Show. We're just, sometimes we can be some clowns and have some good time, and hopefully we're making somebody's day better. Trucker G, that's awesome. For you and your wife to do something special for fellow drivers. Now let's go to Carlin on this month's Stack Hack. All right, guys, tomorrow is Christmas, and as is tradition here at the Truck Boss Show, we like to check in with some of our favorite people during the holidays. So let's check in with them in this Stack Hack Christmas edition. Hi, this is Kelly Lynn McLaughlin, and I am the driver ambassador for Women in Trucking and Schneider. I want to give a huge shout out to my friends at the Truck Boss Show. I am going to be spending the holidays at home with my family. I am so thankful to be doing that. But I just wrapped up 2020, put a big red bow on it by doing a Wreaths Across America run. Can't imagine a better way to end the year. It's such a positive note and a great organization. So we'll see you out on the road. Happy holidays. Hey everybody, this is that Master Chef Trucking, Chef Travis. Today, well, over the holidays, um, I will be FaceTiming with family and uh, social distancing and also making a wonderful dinner. I wish you guys a happy holidays and um, stay blessed. It is always great catching up with, you know, some of our favorites that we've talked to over the year. And this year we've talked to a lot of people, you know, kind of Skyping every every chance that we can since we are not allowed to, you know, interact with people as much anyway. Um, but big thanks to everyone there who, you know, gave us an opportunity to promote them a little bit on the Stack Hack. And if you guys want to be on our Stack Hacks, reach out. Let us know. We'd love to have you on there and give you a chance to, you know, speak your mind. You only get a minute, though, so you got to wrap it up. That's right. 60 seconds or less. <laughs> yep, that, that's it. That's it. Now, we sell what else do we have for him this week? Well, of course, you already know we have our extras every Friday. And, well, this week's extra, we're going to be having an awesome place called Two Frogs Restaurant. And, of course, you guys already know I love food. And that's here in Oklahoma, in Ardmore, Oklahoma. So you have to stay tuned and check it out because they have awesome food. And it's homemade, like homemade food from scratch. Mm -hmm. Mm, always good always good and then next week it is the last show of the year for us here at the truck boss show so we're going to wrap it up with something special we're going to have our friends matt and joey and they're going to give us a little bit of kind of an a year in review if you will and then we also have one of our favorite things to do the blooper reel you know we provide a lot of content for you guys over the year but we also have a lot of mess ups and this will be your chance to kind of see some of those mess ups and let me tell you isela has probably the worst ones 
You think so? Maybe I, so. I would say Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> no, don't say I'm just kidding, Nikki. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> She's not on as often as we are, but she does have some pretty good ones when she is. So. Well, we'll also get to see what um, you were a rookie at the beginning of the year. Well, actually last year, but anyways, you were the rookie of the show, so we're gonna get to see some of yours too. So it's gonna be pretty fun. So it guys, will. make sure Basically. that you check that out. Yeah. For sure. And then don't forget that we also have our giveaway going live right now. It, at the end of December is the last day. So we're going to announce the winner um, is next week, right? We're going to go That's right, and, next week, yes. Yeah, next week. And so, whew, man, December flew by. Um, so be sure to go in there. Make sure you filled out all that information so that way you are entered to win. We don't want you guys to miss that opportunity there. Yeah, and, and that way, if you don't, you know, if you want to catch the next giveaway, all you have to do is you just make sure to follow us on our Facebook page. You got to click the subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever it is. But man, come on, jump on board because we will hook you up too. You never know, you could be the winner. That's right, that free stuff, it's always good. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff on our social media. We had a great year in 2020. We're going to have an even better year in 2021, and you're not going to want to miss the stuff that we're going to be bringing you guys. So no. go ahead. Hit that notification button so you, you know when we're rolling out new things. That's right, guys. And, well, Carlin, why do we do this? Because you're the boss. <laughs>